Hey guys, greetings. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinal TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. We got this gear. This is HP DSJ Plus 4132. This printer is multifunctional, multi tax triple in one if you like in the sense that you can copy scan and print from this gear this printer is dual band is using can connect it via wi-fi or via usb cable if you check my video you see how we unbox this gear i showed you some of the features for this printer this printer is dope nice technology and i love the scanner so you stick your document on the top of the scanner here and select the function and it will do the job perfectly what we are going to do this is home printing gear i'm going to show you some of the features for this printer then for us to connect this printer to wi-fi network i'm going to show you how to do this okay this printer we start from the back here okay from the back here the power cable goes right here and you can see the part number for this printer okay is right here okay the pin and part number is right here and also the power cable unfortunately this printer doesn't have power cable uh, the the usb cable connection is using dual band wi-fi and usb cable connection but what i'm trying to say is it doesn't come with the usb cable it's not included in the packaging okay so you if you want to do this you need to get this separately these days they expect you to connect this printer via wi-fi network so you might not need this but it's handy to get it if you don't have it okay so i'm using the one i got at home so this goes right in here okay it goes in here then this flat section go to your pc okay and once you load it to your pc it will recognize it. i'm also going to do this tutorial which you show you how to load it okay and this printer from the back here also this is the paper trail for this printer to load the particular paper you want you open this up move the flap to different size okay to load the paper you want to use you can load four by six five by seven a4 paper right here what you need to do is load that particular paper and adjust adjust it okay with the holder now from there we move to the front can also load some paper here to scan your documents okay this is from paper tray so load it and also adjust it from here okay but i normally use the bottom casket i mean the rear tray okay now this is by the way like i said here is the scanner okay and front here okay you will see the features for this printer okay i'm going to tell you some of the features okay bring the camera close so that you can see from the features right here you see this is the on and off button to turn this printer on okay and after that this button here is to copy color if you press sorry excuse me to copy black okay and after this button the next one is to copy color okay and here is lcd screen inside this lcd screen you will see double line for the end cartridges and you see right now it's empty okay you can see that it's empty you see zero also you see the reception for the wi-fi network you can see also right here is for wi-fi you can see it's the it's moving slowly the reception is not steady but also you see this blue light is flashing here what this blue light means is this wi-fi is not yet connected to network and if it's connected to network it will be steady light steady blue light on okay and this button here is information light sometimes when you want to connect this wi-fi it will ask you to press this information light this button to pick up the proximity 
okay to identify your proximity it might ask you to play this once this is to resume button okay and this is to cancel if you select any job and change your mind you press this button here it will cancel the job okay so basically this is the features for this printer okay and what i want to show you right now also is where to load the ink cartridges and so to load the ink cartridges you open up here okay and once you open it up ink holder will come right in the middle for you to change the ink okay it's right now set and ready for you to load the ink okay and once you load the ink it will move away from here to this side or to the other corner and make sure you close it okay and also this is to hold the paper for support what i want to show you right now is how we can connect this printer to wi-fi network this is the first thing i want us to do okay and you see sometimes they will ask you to go to 123.hp.com and get the app but what i want us to do is to, i want to show you the easier way okay what i'm doing right now is i'm getting my mobile phone okay and from my mobile phone Now, from from my mobile phone, I, I need to make sure I remove the app, the network for my Wi-Fi network. I'm removing the mobile network. Is what I want to remove. Okay, and then what we need to do is I want you to go with me to Play Store. Okay, this is Play Store, and inside this Play Store what i want you to type in on top okay type hp smart app okay so type in hp smart app and once you type it in it will show you what you need to do is download it click download if you see my mobile device already is downloaded on my app what i need to do is click it open and when you click it open okay you will see this app this is hp smart app okay and what we need to do is we need to look for this printer this printer the series will be hp desi 4100 series so don't expect to see 4130 no but 4100 series is what we're going to see okay the next thing you can see hp smart app you see plus with circle and also bell so after that bell you see a plus sign click on that plus it will start searching for this available printer it will start you can see it's right now going around and searching for available printer once it's going around the next thing you need to do is click add printer here we go so this printer right now is desjet plus 4100 series it will show you hp setup 24 desk jet plus 4100 series okay if it's not this printer then you select my printer is not listed but this is this printer okay so what you need to do is tap on it okay right now it's asking us this is my home wi-fi network okay so if you want to change network you change network but this is my home wi-fi network so it will pick up the network in your home address straight away okay once you find this printer it will pick up the home address straight away so what i need to do right now is to type in the wi-fi network password which i have here with me i have the details right here so i'm going to do this right now i also want to echo that if you want to type this password make sure you cross check it so that you don't do any you know it won't do any mistakes so i'm going to type the password okay then we'll go from there Okay, once you type the password, like I said earlier, just cross check. Just cross check and you are happy with the password. Then the next thing you need to do is click this blue arrow 
okay once you click this blue arrow click continue now i will ask you to turn on bluetooth bluetooth it is required to set up your printer click continue once you click continue it will turn up it will ask you allow hp smart app to enable bluetooth so click allow and the bluetooth will be on okay the next thing it is doing right now is finding this printer printer is found okay the next thing is is preparing the printer that is found okay so you will see it is preparing the printer sometimes it will ask you to go to the printer and press here we go press the flashing information button on the printer for security we confine your proximity to the printer so right now what we need to do is you can see so we we'll go to the printer and this information button that is flashing press it once okay and once you press it it will pick up the printer okay it will prepare the printer and we'll go from there okay so you see what i've done i press it once right now it's preparing the printer printer is prepared the next thing is doing right now is obtaining the IP address for this printer. Okay, it's obtaining an internet provider address for my home Wi-Fi network. And actually, if you look over here, it's already connected because this blue light is no longer flashing. But you must wait for this to complete on your the on the app. So this printer is actually right now connected to Wi-Fi network. Here we go. Printer connected to Wi-Fi network. You can see. So I want you to see, like I said earlier, if you, if you look over here, you will see, I'm going to bring the camera closer. If you look over here, you see the Wi-Fi is steady, blue light on right now. And also on the printer, it will tell you that this printer is connected to Wi-Fi network. Okay, this is what is written here okay so this printer is connected and you see the blue light is no longer flashing and this light for wi-fi network that was going up and down is now steady with full reception so this printer right now is connected to wi-fi network okay so this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network and the next thing you need to do is basically click continue you see printer is connected to Wi-Fi so you just need to click continue okay so it will connect you to HP services now it's connected to printing service okay click continue now it's asking us let's load paper okay so we need to load paper print load the ink cartridges and follow the instructions okay this is how to load the ink how to connect this printer to wi-fi network if you're happy with this tutorial please smash the like button share this video with your friends and family this is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network and you can see a blue steady light is on right now is for wi-fi network okay this is for wi-fi and it's steady on okay so i just thought to show you how to connect this printer to wi-fi network okay you can see this blue steady light on is for wi-fi network and it's right now connected if you're happy with this tutorial please smash the like button share this video with your friends and family i appreciate you thank you